the same. Hello and welcome to this video. This video is kind of sort of explaining as to what Guam is. I'm pretty sure that's why you typed it in into the search bar. And so let me try to help you out with this. There's not many videos out there explaining as to what Guam is and I just thought I might help. Eh, who would have thunk? To get to the point, Guam, it's not a food, it's not an animal, it's not a thing. Well, it kind of is a thing. It's an island, basically. It's an island in the Pacific Ocean, US territory. People live on it, including this guy right here. So a little history. Way back in the day, a bunch of Indonesian, Filipino type people came from the big countries in little tiny canoes and settled here for who knows long, thousands of years. Late 1500s, a man named Magellan stopped by and said, hey, what's up? I'm. This is gonna be a nice spot to have trade and to refuel and to uh, get food and supplies and whatever you're, you're gonna be my next hub for about 300 plus years we were under Spanish rule so our language it fused with Spanish so it's partly Spanish or Chamorros which are the indigenous people of Guam adopted the Catholicism Roman Catholic life we were taught by Spanish missionaries around the late 1800s the Spanish American War happens and then boom we're under American control now part of a sort of rewards that America got for winning World War II comes along now they bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7th but on December 8th just a day later they bombed Guam and the only difference is that they actually stayed on Guam they invaded so for about almost three years we've been under Japanese control and it wasn't the easiest life now myself I have not experienced it but we do have people that have lived through it write down their memoirs they've been interviewed and this and that so they've been through a lot of hard stuff hard labor tortures beheadings rapes death marches a lot of bad stuff happened in those three years and you know Japanese when they they feel like their backs against the wall they'll they'll do some crazy stuff the bonsai and stuff but now Japanese are great we uh, invite them to the island because tourism is our number one economy so Ohio because no ill will towards you guys you guys did what you had to do we had to do what we had to do to survive but now that's behind us and it's a whole different world these days America liberated us and that's why we have our own holiday Liberation Day I think the tip of the spear where consider we are a strategic location a military base a Navy base a Air Force base whatever so we get most of our revenue from tourism as well as military spending okay so if you ever wonder what Guam is it's a place that houses a whole different mishmash of people now it the native people are called Chamorros we have a lot of Filipinos Japanese Chinese Koreans Russians then we got a whole bunch of Americans and then a whole plethora of different Micronesian Polynesian Melanesian cultures that you probably never even heard of like Chukis, Palauans, Kashrayans, things like that. There's a whole bunch of people here. Now English is the main language here, okay? Followed by Chamorro, then Filipino, and so on and so forth. But we all speak English as you can hear. Main currency is of course the US dollar. We are surrounded by a lot of coral beaches. It's a it's a it's a really beautiful island that you should visit two different kinds of seasons here wet and dry sometimes I would like it to snow sometimes that would be nice to experience a little snow now it hasn't happened in a long time but we used to be susceptible to a lot of storms called typhoons that's probably like your version of hurricanes and no we do not have we do not live in tree huts we don't wear grass skirt we probably have like the one of the strictest building codes in the whole Pacific uh, it's designed to survive super typhoons that's like 100 200 mile an hour plus winds so all the buildings here are designed to withstand that okay so Yes, we do have shacks and tin houses around for people who can't really afford it, but the building codes itself are meant to survive super ass winds. Now, why am I making this video? Well, because a lot of good stuff's been happening about Guam. Number one, Pia Mia. If you know who that is, she recently went under Madonna's wing and she has this YouTube thing going on that I haven't really watched, but she's from Guam. She's bringing, putting Guam on the map. She's always wearing the that gold necklace that has this little Guam seal on it. We're in missile range from China. They've got long-range missiles apparently now that can reach our U.S. military bases in Guam. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing, but saw it on the news last night. What else? What else? Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool himself. He had a little Instagram picture with Guam in the in the caption. Twice. It's in there twice. Baby Joe Timinglow beat Darian Caldwell in today's Bellator action with a sweet 
guillotine submission. Inmediatamente buscando el derribo, Baby Joe amarrando la guillotina. Congratulations, Baby Joe Timing Low. That guy's from Guam. Number three, the winner by submission, Baby Joe, the Juggernaut Timing Low. I thought I made this video because, hey, a lot of good stuff's happening. Guam is being sprinkled around. You'll see it in TV shows or movies. You'll hear it and be like, what the hell is that? And hopefully, this little video kind of helped you a little bit. All right? If you like what you see, please leave a like. If you don't, Leave a comment, whatever. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, what have you. I try to make a new video every week, whenever my day off is. <laughs> and so today's my day off, yay! So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Ooh, baby, I like it.